Good morning. Happy Saturday. Yeah. Today we are sitting on the porch again, which is awesome because the kids love it out here um. and it's a beautiful day, but my allergies are like not liking being outside so much. I think it's, what? Goodness. He's ready for a nap. I think it's ragweed or something, but it makes my eyes like so red and itchy. Um, but I've been taking allergy medicine, but anyway, we're outside. So today, um, Liam had a baseball tournament in um, central Arkansas. And so Lucas went with him to that. I really wanted to go, but if I went, I would have to bring all the kids. And I asked Liam, I said, what would you prefer? And he said, I just want it to be me and dad. So they went to Little Rock kind of area and um, I'm here with the kids. And so in a way that's easier, but I miss but he's got a few other tournaments that I will get to go to. But today's game is the first baseball game he's had since Norm passed away. And Norm was his number one fan at every game, at every practice. So I'm saying an extra prayer for Liam today just that he remembers Norm being there with like happiness in his heart and not sadness. And because I know that's going to be a void for him whenever he gets up to bat or makes a good play and he doesn't hear Norm cheering for him in the stands. And um, it just hurts my mama heart to think of that. But I know that he and Lucas will have a great time today. And I'm just glad that it worked out where um, Lucas was not on call and able to go with Liam today. So the other crazy thing that happened um, this morning is that we got a call from the post office, like first thing. And they said that there were bees, live bees. So anyway, the post office called and said that there were live bees there to be picked up. And so Sam went with Lucas's brother, picked up the bees, brought them back. And the bees are something that Norm did every year. He looked forward to this and he would order them. I think we ordered them like in the winter and he knew that they were going to arrive mid-May and we didn't really think about it. Like it was off our radar. And then when the post office called, I was like, oh yeah, the bees. And one thing that I love about a small town is that um, like the, the, the address on the box, of course, was Norm's. And they called the phone number that was listed. And I think that it had been disconnected already. I think his mom, Lucas's mom already um, disconnected that. And so they couldn't get through to Norm. And so they knew that that name, like they knew that um, that was my father-in-law <laughs> because we're in a small town. And so they called me, thankfully, rather than sending the bees back. And so we went, but I'm so glad that they knew that, you know, Norm, Norm's name, even though they couldn't reach him on the phone, they knew who else to call. And so I'm glad that we were able to get the bees because that is something that Norm loved. He loved the bees. He loved making honey. Um, and he always talked about just how healthy the honey was and how great it was for the kids and they all loved his honey. One year we even made honey jars and I got labels and I wrote like Grampy Norm's honey on them and, and uh, we gave them to neighbors and friends and, but anyway, so we have bees now and we are going to try to figure out how to, um, keep the bees healthy and how to make honey and uh, all this is new, but we're all having fun learning all the things that Grampy Norm loved. I even made jam this morning. Like, who am I, right? We, um, we had cherries from a cherry tree that Norm had, and so I made jam. So that's the main thing going on today is just um, hanging out with the kids and working on the garden, working on the bees, and... Uh, just having a normal normal Saturday in our new normal. And uh, it's hard to believe that like two weeks ago, Norm was here, we were having a normal day, and just how fast everything changes. It really um, puts everything in perspective and just makes you just really um, just enjoy the little moments and just enjoy today, enjoy the present, right? So that's what we're doing today. But I hope everyone's having a wonderful Saturday. Okay. Okay. 
Check on the bunnies. There's the mama. You're a good mama. Ooh, your babies are getting fur. Look at them. Look at that. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's cute. They are, they're getting fur. Oh wow. That's really cool. Look at look at them, Tia. I'll show you a, a video, Cora. Good job, mama no, bunny. No, we'll get You guys getting eggs? Did you bring your basket or are you just going to use your dress? Let Cora have one. Ooh, cool. <laughs> Don't drop that. Are they getting used to their new rooster? Is the rooster being nice? Yeah. Good. Whitney said his name is Pickles. Yeah. <laughs> Taking the little chicks for a ride today. So our next project is we are installing these poles. So I was going to do these poles around the playground and put Edison bulbs all around the playground, but we are going to have Grampy's celebration of life over here at the garden. And so now we're going to be putting the poles at the garden with Edison bulbs. And I think it's just gonna be beautiful um, to have this around the garden, just all these poles with Edison bulbs. And it's just gonna be even more beautiful and I think Grampy would would approve. I am out at Grampy Norm's playground and so one of the projects that I was going to do um, was paint that right there 
and that metal climbing thing a different shade of red so it is red and it looks fine but if you look close it needs to be touched up there's just some spots that need to be um, kind of touched up a little bit so I got this it's a uh, rust-oleum spray paint and it's colonial red is the color I love that color and it kind of matches the red on the house and it's not like super bright red so right now I'm going to spray paint that and spray paint that it won't take me long but it'll make it look um, brand new again Okay, so that looks so much better. It's like a bright red now, and it just looks brand new. And just kind of finishes out this area. And there's just a lot of peace out here because this was Grampy Norm's final project. And I couldn't have orchestrated it any better. I mean, he just was so selfless and gave so much of himself to his grandkids. And so as his final project being a huge playhouse for them, it's, it's just beautiful. And I, I loved watching him come up with this idea and then share, share with me um, his vision and kind of just make it happen. And it was just a really, really beautiful thing to watch um, right up until the end. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Jenna. You with bye-bye?